Hi, uh, Nick from Snow Tracks here. Um, I'm the head ski tester and ski buyer uh, in our store, and um, I'm going to talk to you today about a, a fantastic ski from Rosignol, um, the uh, Black Ops Sender. Um, the Black Ops range is something that's always been sort of under the radar from, from Rosignol. They've uh, uh, done limited releases or, or just, um, you know, not, not out there in the public eye too much. Uh, and now they've sort of put it at the forefront of their range, replacing what was their, their sort of sole range of, of skis, their sole sevens, etc. that have been very, very popular. And they've, they've moved some of that tech across there. So this kind of replaces that kind of ski, but it, it, it also takes it to a new level. Um, it's 100 mil underfoot. It's got your standard sort of like uh, uh, camber with, with rocker on the tip and a bit of rocker on the tail. Um, ideal for uh, all, all kind of uh, someone who's seeking out to get it off piste free riding, want to enjoy the backcountry as much as possible, but you know, let's face it, that isn't always possible, so you want something that's going to be able to ski around the piste as well. Um, I really like Rosignol's um, air tip, it's something they've, they've had through a lot of their range, um, even um, variations of it on, on some of their uh, sort of all mountain skis as well, but it makes it really, really super light. They're one of the first people to have this, it's kind of like a structure within honeycomb kind of structure in the, uh, the tip, and it just makes that swing weight really, really, really nice. So if you're you're dropping in somewhere, um, you're, you're pivoting, you've got tight trees to go around. It really, really is nice and nimble. Um, and that's something that, that all of us that have tried this have, have picked up on. It just feels very, very, very nimble. Um, it's also quite light. It's a colonial wood core, um, which uh, again is, is nice and solid, but it's, it's, it's light uh, and it's durable. Um, so I think that gives a lot of the characteristics of the ski and, and makes it um, what it is. Uh, the graphic is something everyone's talking about this season as well. This is one ski, the other one has got like a, 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 a reverse, so it's black fading into this kind of like, um, uh, what, what should I call this, kind of yellowy colour on the tail, and it looks really, really cool. So a lot of people will be talking about that. Um, having skied it, um, we, we were all sort of saying how, how that, that the, the way it works and feels, um, it's very, very stable and you get, um, it feels very smooth as well. Uh, now, what they've done, if, uh, the guys at Rosie have taken the line control technology, so um, also known as LCT, um, which was in some of their race skis, um, and they've brought it around in some of their piece skis, and that's a line that runs through a, a metal laminate that runs through the, the ski, uh, mounted um, uh, vertically through the ski, to help give it stability and suck up vibrations, and that um, has been uh, adapted to this, and on the wider skis, they've actually got two channels of material running through the ski, and again it's to try and keep the stability um, and to suck up vibrations which is really really important when you're skiing in terrain that's chopped up in powder you, you don't know what's underneath your feet you want your ski not to be sort of rebounding or flapping all over the place or chattering and and that's definitely what we found with this is it, it felt smooth responsive re reliable um, we did try out the um, sender ti as well there's a ti version of this which is basically very similar it's just got some titanium in it to beef it up um, and the feedback from myself and actually from from more aggressive skiers than me and um, was that actually the trade-off the extra weight um, uh, to get uh, the, the uh, how shall I put it it was it was heavier and it felt much stiffer underfoot and we felt that actually the lighter version this version had enough uh, sort of packing a punch underneath the foot that really only the most aggressive skiers would need to move up to the TI version um, I, I would I would definitely say for, for most people the, the sender is definitely where, it at, where it's at, and the sender TI, you know, is, 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 is for those few people that need a really, really burly ski. Um, and, and that wouldn't be me, and actually most of my colleagues that skied as well, and some big aggressive guys that I ski with were also saying actually they preferred this. So just, a, just something we can chat about if you, if you need some more advice, we can talk you through the differences and just guide you to the right one um, from the two models. Uh, also length, everyone always asks us about what ski length to go for. Uh, it is the number one asked question. Um, and the uh, best thing to do is just to get in touch with us and we can uh, give you some tailored advice because it, it, it depends on your, your weight, your height, your uh, aggression level uh, and, and what you're used to skiing as well. Uh, it also depends massively on the model of ski as well. So we can, uh, we can help you with that, um, so get in touch. But uh, yeah, Sender, um, uh, Black Ops Sender, lovely ski, lightweight, nice and stable, 100 underfoot. It's going to be really good in the powder uh, and, and sort of everything between uh, soft snow conditions and, and deep fluffy powder.